What up peeps? This is John J. Images, aka John Jacob Bola. I'm a Filipino American photographer, filmmaker, videographer, 21st century content creator, currently based in the cold mountains of the Philippines, Baguio City, Benguet area. So this is a photo video. Well, it's a video of photos with a voiceover or a podcast style feel. In my other previous videos, I said that I have limited resources, so I don't really have my studio right now, but hopefully soon I will have my studio. But instead of uh, waiting for the perfect time, you know, I should just get out this content and hopefully it will provide some value to photographers or filmmakers or videographers or content creators or those who are interested in the Filipino American lifestyle. So. This is a picture of me in the Diplomat Hotel. So obviously I don't have my camera with me. I asked my sister, who's also an artist, currently based in the Baguio area, to photograph me. And then I went into Lightroom and did some editing. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It's dramatic, it's moody, has leading lines. The composition is like, the subject is right in the center. And I'm wearing some of my favorite adventure clothes. So the lesson that you could learn from this photograph is if you want to take nice portraits and you don't want your vacation photos to be full of selfies, this applies to uh, beginner photographers or people with a camera that they don't really know how to use. What you could do is you could set it on some sort of automatic mode as this is especially useful if the person that you're handing your camera to doesn't really know much about cameras. So you can set it to aperture priority, pick the right aperture, F8 or F5.6, F1.7, whatever, make your decision, and then have them photograph you several times and see what looks good. And if I remember this correctly, I guided my sister on the framing saying, okay, go here, go there, make it look like this. I think if I, I remember correctly, I took a photograph of her first in a similar, in a similar um, framing and I asked her to replicate what she saw in the photo I took of her. So instead of always relying on a tripod, you could ask your friends and family to take pictures of you with some guidance and setting the camera on an easy mode to operate because you and I, photographers, might be shooting manual and doing this and that, but the reality of the matter is a lot of people have no idea how to shoot manual. So it is good to give them a little bit of guidance, a little bit of framing composition guidance on how to shoot with that camera and aperture priority or even auto, just to make it easy. Now the next photo that I wanna talk about that was taken here in the Philippines is this photo right here. This is personally one of my favorite photos and it's because it's a scene that I've somewhat have seen a hundred times. Obviously that's an exaggeration, though I basically see this kind of scene every week. But as you're looking at the photo, I've done quite an amount of editing so it looks different to me. It gives it a new fresh perspective because I think the problem is, is if you keep seeing the same thing over and over again, the novelty wears off. So after I've spent some time in Baguio City, everything kind of just became the same and boring and normal. But when I went out there with my camera, did some tweaking of the colors, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I think it was the last one, it gives you a nice new perspective. So my recommendation to you is if you're getting bored with photographing your surrounding city, why not change up the colors and switch it up so hopefully you can see something different. So what's a really cool problem to have is Baguio City has amazing epic golden hour. So the cool thing is that you always see it, but it's also a problem because you kind of get used to it and the uniqueness wears off. But you have to keep in mind that people around the world, they don't always have an epic, amazing golden hour, unlike the city that you live in potentially. So one of my regrets of the past few years of living or spending time in a lot of other cities is that I did not photograph them enough. So my goal for 2022 is to photograph Baguio City 
the city I'm currently spending a lot of time in right now. I want to photograph it to a good amount so I have a nice remembrance, a nice artistic expression, remembrance, photographer, do thingy so I could look back and say, yes, I acted and I was a photographer in that city when I spent time there. I made some images that I was proud of. So this image, technically, to me, it's not perfect. There's some clipping on the highlights. It's a little bit uh, blown out, but hey, whatever. Stop being a perfectionist. This photo was taken in a neighboring city or neighboring area that has quite a different vibe in La Union. So La Union is hot. It's the typical Philippines you think about. So now you got to keep in mind when you're watching my content, at least for the year 2022, a lot of my stuff will most likely be filmed in the cold mountains of the Philippines, or at least a significant amount of it. But this photo was taken in the hot part of the Philippines, the lowlands, all that typical Filipino uh, heat and, you know, ocean thingy. So this was taken around that area. I really want to do more botanical photography. Obviously, with the uh, the trends, people are really getting into plants. And I think people are more eager to see botanical or plant photography. I hope you enjoyed this little photo video podcast thing. I'm trying out some things, see what works, see what doesn't, see what gets good feedback and see what doesn't really get much attention. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you've listened all the way to the end and if you like this podcast, please give it a like. Consider subscribing if you want to see more Filipino-American photographer content. And hopefully I'll see you or you'll hear me on the next video. Thanks.